everybody, this is Game Does Play Games, where we play games and talk about game design. That we do, and we're back with more oxen free. About to go exploring up here. Yeah, last we left off, Anything we had the crazy Please, possession thing going on. Me. I won't want to know. The I spy scenario, if you will. I think you missed the click. I yeah, I don't, I don't even remember what they were talking about. Oh, uh, that's fair. <laughs> so basically, now we're going to the that like relay point to set off to I think we have to go to three spots basically and then we're gonna unlock the mines yep yep <clears throat> and that, that area was um, locked before mm -hmm. so I, I want to talk about the the like I spy possession challenge that we just went through so if you haven't seen the last episode you should you should watch that otherwise you're not gonna have any idea Oops, what, no, no. what we're talking about um, but when when we failed the first one, we didn't find the, what, the base? Oh, the TV. TV, the radiation spot. Yeah. Um, I find it weird that the camera's brought up there. What the hell? There we go. Oh, yeah, some kind of weird glitch happened. Um, but So when we, when we failed that and Nona was just, like, plucked up into the abyss, I thought she might have been, like, proper dead at that point like her body was claimed and we could do nothing about it um on one side i'm happy that didn't happen because um at that point i feel like we didn't understand what was going on and i feel like the players expected to fail at that point because we have a, a 10 second timer oh no oh boy ran Interesting. We're seeing Ren, but we're not there. Oh, he's drowning. Cool. Alex. Alex, okay. Are you, are you back to normal? I just saw. It, it, it was like a premonition, I think. And, and I know that sounds whatever, but this must be what it's like when people say they do that. Cause I kind of just saw Ren drowning. Okay, okay. Just take it easy for a second. You went all red-eyed, like when we get possessed. I did. You stopped walking and started mumbling, and then your eyes lit up like little road flares. It only lasted like a minute, but we should hurry up and do this before the door on you opens any wider to them. But the thing with Ren, it was so real. It was like it, I was there with him. Maybe we should go back. But I'm sure he's fine, so let's finish what we started. They don't want to kill him. They want to distract you so you waste time. Yeah. That's my theory. Ooh, ooh. Yeah. This is this is that statue we were talking about. That man you don't know. About. I don't know what kind of secrets we could find with this guy though. Although I guess he is kind of in the shape of a triangle. Well, the information one is the like one oh four. That's the Morse code. Wait, I can find out. 102.3. Ah. This is the Sentry, sculpted by Lieutenant Peter Hasborough. It was installed here in 1979 to remind all who view it of Fort Milner's original intent, to serve as a beacon of harbor defense. Though the base would eventually become acclaimed as the birthplace of many radio innovations during World War II, and until its deactivation would be known more. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, not really any clues, but we do get a bit of history out of that. Yeah, not the most important now that we know that it's a lie. Everything's a lie. <laughs> but going back to the conversation about Nona getting plucked up, so I'm happy that they didn't penalize the player by killing her for getting that wrong, because... The likelihood of us failing that first I Spy-like challenge was pretty high. Um, on the other side of the coin, though, I wonder if there was any true consequence to failing that, you know? Right. And I, I think that not having any real consequence devalues that experience and that challenge. Right. But, like, what would have happened if I missed all of them instead of just one? Yeah, and that really is, like, the question in my mind. So I wonder if maybe something with Nona will happen later and we just can't save her. Maybe she's already been claimed or or just nothing maybe will happen. I guess we won't know until the time comes. It's four in the morning. Oh, no. Which is usually about the time everyone decides if they're going to bed or ordering another three pizzas. <laughs> yeah? 
What's your vote usually in uh, that situation? Uh, never leave pizza on the table. It's like getting 11 in blackjack. Just double down. Don't even think about it. <laughs> Chair. I think this tuning into the tear thing's gonna work. Whoa, whoa. Like, really? It really doesn't matter if I think it's gonna work. It's sort of all we have, and we're running out of time. It is all we have. Yeah. Weird chair. I just stuff I is wish I felt like the ghosts were from, like, concerned their that their plan won't work. Something. This is so weird. Um, yeah. I think it failed it's to cancel exactly his audio. Yeah. I think we're running out of runway here. <sighs> Look at yeah. it. It's like a desk and... Yeah, that that part I'm I'm curious about too because the people that died they were all the people in the submarine, right? Uh huh. So I guess maybe it's kind of like the radio, how they they can reuse the radio signals to communicate. But I guess the part that I don't totally understand is how they can like just throw chairs and desks and stuff around. Right. I mean they're ghosts. Yeah, I guess those are all questions that'll be answered. <laughs> There's a little, little uh, bookcase. I mean, they lit the fire in that. That's true. Campfire. Unless I mean, they're been like having that happen for a while. It's just yeah. How I, does it happen? Yeah, I, I guess I just didn't really think about it until now. I suppose it's possible that they are. Well, they, we know that they're in the our head, the or the characters' heads. <sighs> That's true. I hope this works. So I suppose what could be happening is that they're using their own memories against them. Yeah, that's true. Though, on on the plus side, I feel like my theory about not killing characters will hold true, if only because now we know that the ghosts don't want. These get these kids dead because they want to possess them forever. Yeah. Which is a very um, what was the name of that movie? Now the like, station's up at the top of the hill. I hope this works. <sighs> no. God, we're in another loop, Dilu. They always come at the most appropriate times, don't they? <sighs> yeah, they do. Thanks for the update. Now the station's up at the top of the hill. I hope this works. Yep, I am also hope that. <laughs> <laughs> They don't want us to get to the top. That's why I think that if even if we tried to take the boat, it wouldn't work. Because they still have power over us, you know? They could just make it not happen. I don't know if there's something I can do to, like... Try going inside that... That, uh... <gasps> Wait, yeah, no, go in there! Because there might be something going on with that window, at least. Try pulling out your radio while you're inside. I feel like we don't see that prominent of triangles unless there's a reason. Because we've been here before and I didn't notice those windows being so well lit. Right. Radio is always the solution. Hmm. We're stuck in a loop, y'all. They don't want us to get up the hill. Maybe try going across. Uh, oh. Ren? No, no, what happened? What's wrong with Ren? Ren, he's. He had an accident. He. He died. I couldn't. No, no, come on. Clarissa was dead too, Am but I like bunny ears dead, not dead dead. Is that right? Apparently killing yourself doesn't actually do anything here. Alex. I think? It must be. Well, it's the truth, Jonas. And I'm not gonna stand here and fall for one of these I'm dead, no I'm not, shuffleboard swaps again. 
Come on, let's skip to the last chapter. Unless that gonna... attitude's gonna get one of them killed. He he drowned. He took a fall. No, no, no. I don't know. He just he just stopped. I mean, does it really matter what happened? Either way, done is done. Fix it, friend. Whatever you want to call it. I know you're doing it. Just fix it. It's not us doing it, dear. We weren't lying. The time loops, as you've taken to calling them, which we do find so adorable, are of your own making. Yeah, sure. Just like you infesting us like lice isn't your fault either. That we have and will own up to, but the other stuff, that we're afraid is on you. Alex, we know you're in charge and we know your plan, and we also know that your plan won't work. It never does. So we have a proposition for you. A deal. A bargain, really. And um, a proposition? Like, uh, like what? It's already over there, Clarissa. She's gone. We'll pilot her through the rest of existence and there's nothing you can do to change that. But, if you agree to let us take her, let her go, quietly, without fuss, you won't slaughter the rest of your friends, like young Reginald here. We leave the rest of you cattle alone. We only really need the one, anyway. No, no, no way! I'm saving everyone! Everyone is coming home with me. We're all getting out of here. <sighs> Courage is not always the way, dear. You don't I feel like have we have no reason left. to trust them anyway. You know how we know you don't have much time left. Hmm? Fine. Shoot. How do you know? We know because we can be Jonas for this long, and his soul is as quiet as an empty church. Just never say we didn't provide you all the rules. I'm really starting to wonder if there is, like, there must be different outcomes to this game, I'm starting to think. Like, oh, there's stuff. Yeah. Like, if it, if you chose to go with Ren or something, like, maybe Jonas would be the one that they were getting, or... Yeah, or Nona. even, even, like, you know, what if you had chosen to, to sacrifice Clarissa? I... I don't trust these ghosts. I feel like they're still going to try to possess everyone anyway. Um, yeah. But what if you pretended to be on their side, you know? Would it lead to a better outcome, or could it be worse? Or what if in the beginning of the game, you weren't like, let's save everyone. You were just like, let's get out of here. I know he was your best friend, Alex. I I'm sorry. I don't, I don't know what happened. One minute he was there, and then he was just gone. It's okay, Nona. You... You didn't do anything wrong. I know it's not your fault. Of course it's not your fault. I didn't know him that well, but... I like what I'd gotten to know. I'm sorry. It's... I shouldn't. It's colossally stupid of me to talk about him like that with you here. This is... He was more important. It's not stupid. It's not small to like someone. Oh, it doesn't... So it doesn't <laughs> diminish anything. Maybe. It's a tiny thing, but... I hope he knew that I liked him. And I don't know if he did. He knew, Nona. Don't worry. He knew. Like I said, it's a tiny thing. But thanks, Alex. I, Her placement there was really clever, too. Because you were going to go the fix the first, the fix the it. second, and then uh, talk to God, her. That was... My yeah. mouth feels I almost like wonder if she was supposed to be a distraction in that scenario. It's kind of clever. To make, like, mm -hmm. a deal with me for Clarissa's life. I didn't take it, of course, but I don't know. I, I just thought you should know. God, that must mean they're getting desperate or something. If they had any like power over the situation, they mm. wouldn't try to work out a compromise. Anyway. Hello. Anyone there? Oh, he's alive. What? Are they? Ah, uh, nice. There, um... Somehow That's a great way to reinforce everything that Jonas just said, too. The, uh, station yeah. speakers. <laughs> are you guys at the station? Anybody? Jonas? How are they Jonas? doing that? Punch out uh, you can hear this. Beats me. I mean, there has to be like a switch on there <laughs> or something right to control the uh, Jonas, talk don't box. Listen. 
right. Radio We're all set here for the, uh, thing the thing? That. The machinery, okay, beacon hug, or it. whatever we're doing. Okay, yeah, well, before you do it. that, we're actually way over time. Time's wasted. Okay. So, let's, let's come back to this in the next episode. Um, oh, man. Do you, uh, do you have anything you want to talk about as far as, like, everything that's going on? Should we talk about the possibility of different outcomes? Yeah. Well, what a, I guess. What about it? I guess maybe maybe that's a question to you guys then is, do you think that it would be appropriate for this game to have different outcomes? Um, and I guess if so, what, what would you use that's been presented in the game so far to define what those potential outcomes could be? Obviously, the interactions between characters would be the obvious one, but I feel like there are other choices that we've made that could impact the final outcome. Yeah, I, I kind of want to play other runs of the game, mm -hmm. and then at the end of our playthrough, talk about that, because I'm we, we might learn that it's an illusion of choice, or that there actually is. Yeah, yeah, I, but yeah, I, I think that... For the end of it. Yeah, it would definitely change kind of how I view this game to know whether or not there are different outcomes. That's, yeah. that's interesting. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. Be sure to check out the next video or next episode. And in the meantime, definitely vote for what you want to see next um, because her and I will play that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for watching, everyone.